Gold link at what cost? Hmm. How do you feel? At first. Yes. I think I liked it. I think I liked how bouncy it was and like I, I liked a lot of the tracks on there. Nothing too exceptional. Pretty safe. Still think similar now. You know that the younger niggas look at you. Bad with a nigga get it feel you. Tattoos from a sit you know I had to. But the music business think that you gon' take our chance. I remember I didn't like it initially. I remember I liked a few tracks a lot, but the end of it, I was just like, nah. I think I was pretty, pretty average about it. But now, it's probably one of my favorite albums of the year. That's how much it changed. What, wait, what? At what cost is one of your favorite albums of the year? Well, yeah, I think, I think it is up there. You shall not pass! Yep, thanks man. <laughs> what happened though is like, I did a bit of my research because I had a bit of time and I saw that the album was mostly about the go-go music scene. And if you know about your history, when um, a lot of the Africans came to America, mm. they felt a bit um, distant and outcast because they didn't really have anything to connect to. So what they did is they, connected, they created their own sort of music scene. So they had like their own sort of clubs, their own sort of areas they go to, and it was called the go-go scene. So they had this type of music. And it was like very, you know how Gold Link's music is like very bouncy and like sort of pacing, it's all about the drums and stuff? Yeah. A lot of that comes from the go-go scene. So they had a lot of that type of music. But obviously like less sort of like singing rap, it was more just about the beat. Okay. And all the Africans during the time they first came to America would go to these places and that's how they would connect with each other and keep their community strong. And so that's what, and Goldie used to hear a lot of this music and influence through his father. Or was his mother, I think it was one of the two. I think it was his dad, but like, and so, cause he grew up listening to that and understanding that he wanted to incorporate that through his music and keep that alive. Which I thought was really beautiful. I love that. That's great. Yeah. So because I did that, I listened to the album more and more. I, Cause you know how some of the tracks in there like felt really out of place. They had these weird sort of sounds, these weird sort of vocal like sort of tones and stuff. Yeah. I like did a bit more. I looked up a bit more, and there were reasons as to why he did this. Cause it connects to the scene, connects to the sound. And then from start to finish, I realized, holy shit, this album is actually really fucking good. Like everything he's done is like it's for this reason, and it's got history behind it. And his lyrics like go along with it, like. Like, and then some tracks I didn't really like initially, like, I think one of the harder hitting ones and like one of the softer ones and one of the ones that you got a little bored with, like, I think there's only like, I think there's one track in the album I still don't really fuck with, but like from start to finish now, I can, I can safely say like, I really like enjoy this album. I think it's his best album. Wow. Because at first I, I was, his best album. Cause I thought like, um, and after he didn't talk and also, um, uh, fuck the, was the God, God Complex. God Complex. Like, yeah, I fucking love those, but I, I honestly think this is his best album now because I just think is the way he's done it now that I know what it's about you love the concept I love the concept it. and I think the concept really works once you understand it yeah which I think works for a lot of albums because a lot of albums but he didn't like, explain it did he really explain the con maybe we missed it. did he explain the concept lyrically within the lyrics within the story um, no because because lyrically he's talking about his sort of he's talking about his life but through the music the music speaks towards the life before him okay which is how it connects alright cool so you wouldn't have understood that unless you saw his interviews where he explains that because he doesn't need to explain the songs because if you understand the music and the history then you just automatically get it so that's kind of what we create the music for the people that would just automatically get it. Yeah, all right, that's fair enough. That's much my ignorance. I do, mine as well. Yeah. So yeah, I fucking. It still going... sounds good, man. Oh, Rolling bruh. makes great music. It just bruh. sounds fucking good. Real good fucking music. So I'm real glad that I went back to that. Imagine a school kid. You really committed to that song. I'm real. Like, look at this motherfucker. I come into school, right? I'm just like, hey kids, what's this picture of a cat? Like, cat. What's the picture of a dog? Like, no. I'm like, what's this picture, kids? Like. Car! I'm like, no! SCAT! <laughs> and I skirt up in their face. <laughs> I, skirt, I skirt up in their face, man. That's the best. And the kids are just like, oh! So that means SCAT!